Hi, welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. This particular vehicle is a 2003 Ford Explorer. The problem we have with this one is that the ABS light is lit on the dashboard. So I'm going to show you um, exactly what to do, how to check it, um, and how to repair it. I, uh, I scanned it to find out that there was actually two codes in there. It was a 1235 and a, a, a 1236, I believe. And what that's saying is that there's no, um, no input from the left and right um, ABS sensor. But this sensor is mounted inside the differential, so we need to get up on top of the differential to gain access to it. It's in a real tight spot, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to even get in there and test it, so I'm probably just going to remove it from the truck, and then we'll test it with our, um, our voltmeter or digital voltmeter just to, to check for, uh, you know, if there's any open circuits inside there or whatever. Um, all right, let's go underneath there, take a look at it, and uh, let's get through this thing. And uh, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. If you like what I'm doing, give me the thumbs up. All right, let me show you where that sensor is located. Obviously, we have the truck up in the air, but we need to go underneath the truck to see where it actually, uh, the sensor is located. So let's check, check it out. Just looking at it from underneath, obviously. And that is the sensor right up there with that little red clip on it there. This one right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out that little uh, bolt on the side there. It looks like it's probably about, I think it's either 3 8 or 10 millimeter. And we're gonna pull that sensor down so we can work on it on the, uh, on the bench. So let me take that bolt out and uh, let's continue on this. Okay, this sensor is in a really bad spot, but looking at it from the bottom, the way you're gonna get in there is you have to reach around from the passenger side of the differential and come up around the top and there's a bolt up in there it's three-eighths we're going to take that bolt out and we're going to take the sensor out so we can check it on the bench because there's no way I'm going to get up here to, to test this All right. Bolt is out. Let's take the sensor out and then we'll take that. Be careful when you take it out. You have to rock it back and forth. You don't want to snap it off. Then you're really going to have a whole other set of problems. Gently, we'll take it out. Okay, and then once you got the sensor down, we're just going to disconnect it from its connector here so we can do it on the bench. That little red tab has got to be pushed up. Tough to do with one hand. You push that tab up and we're going to take this sensor out. So let me grab a screwdriver. Okay, tab we'll is up. Go. Next thing you're going to do is push that little tab in right there and we're going to take the sensor off. on the bench and we're going to check the resistance in it. Okay, now we got our new ABS sensor. We're going to put it back in up in the top there. Remember, you had to get your hand around from the side here. I'll put it in and just push it down. And then we're going to put that bolt, we're going to put that bolt back in to secure it in place. Doesn't have to be real tight, just snug. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to reconnect 
the harness that we previously disconnected. Push it in there until you hear it snap in place. And then lock your pin back in there. And that's it. All right, let's lower the vehicle down and uh, I'll start it up and see how it works. Okay, now we're in the car, the truck. We um, cleared the codes out of the scanner and we're just going to test it and make sure everything is okay. We're going to drop it in gear. Now, obviously, the wheels are off the ground and we're going to check and see if we have. There it is. Everything is working properly. Left front. Uh, right front, left rear, right rear. Everything is switching just the way it's supposed to. Obviously, it's just idling right now. That's it. ABS light is now off, and the ABS problem is fixed. It's actually is a very common problem, and I did notice that there was a technical service bulletin in the computer regarding this problem. So, uh, all right, good luck. If I can do anything for you, you need to talk, drop me a line. Be more than happy to talk to you about anything. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.